Hello guys and welcome back to the How to Animate YouTube channel. And in this video we're going to start adding lip sync to this animation. If you've been following the previous videos you'll see that we animated the body. I'm just going to show you where we're at. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself and this happens. Okay so on this rig you have a nice face UI. So up here on the shelf you click that. You'll open up this nice box here for you to easily select everything on the face. Uh, one thing I'd like to do before we start is to set up a camera in front of his face that tracks him and I'm going to put that right here so it's a really handy way to work. You've got the selection box here, you're able to manipulate here and then I've got the actual main camera here. Okay so what I'm going to do first is create a camera. Now this camera is created we can go to panels look through selected to position it in front of his face so something like that would be good. Now I'm going to go back to perspective and show his controllers. I'm going to select his head first, shift select the camera, uh, make sure you've got animation here, go to constrain, parent options, make sure that maintain offset is on and everything is correct here and add. And if we scrub along now you'll see that it follows the head. We go back to look through selected and you'll see that it comes up. So I'm just going to hide the nerves on this. Go up to panels and tear this off. This will create a new window here. I'm just going to drag it alongside here, like so. So let's start animating. So uh, we've got pretty much got this to a first pass state. And once you're at this state, it's always a good idea to start adding a bit of lip sync, uh, a bit of work around the eyes just to complete it. And then what I like to do is then go back and polish from there. So the first thing we're going to do is animate the jaw. And we're going to try and get the main beats of the talking in just using the jaw, first of all. Okay, so let's break this down a bit and just concentrate on this section here. Now I start to get a little ahead. Now I start to get a little ahead. Okay, so I'm just going to select the jaw here. I believe this, you can either translate or rotate this. I'm going to be using rotation. Okay, so at frame zero, I'm just going to set a key now so that's going to be an open on the owl now okay and it's going to be slightly closed for the u shape here now i so i would be open for start for the s's you want to kind of bring it up to about here i'd say okay this is held on the s for a quite a while so I'm just going to set a key here to hold that. Start, so that's an R, an A, R, so it's quite a wide and it's also quite loud as well. So you, you want to kind of uh, listen to the audio track and get a sense for volume as well. Obviously if this guy's going to be sort of almost shouting you're going to want the mouth quite open. Okay I'm just going to delay that S even more. Start. Okay, for the T at the end, we're just going to bring it up. Okay, T. There's a little T get. So that needs just a little something. Just keep it open. For the G, it's going to be something like that. For little, we're going to bring this up, and when we start animating the tongue and stuff, we're going to bring that forward to create an L shape. Okay, so for a head, we're going to open up a. Uh, close it very slightly. Head is going to be slightly open as well. It's not as loud, you can tell here by the wavelength. He's not shouting as much at this point, so... Okay, and head, we're just going to bring it back, head. Okay, so let's play that and see how that feels. Now I start to get a little ahead. Okay, I said this in my previous series, you don't want to hit every single beat. Um, you're, you're trying to find the main open and close. If you try and animate the jaw doing too much 
and hitting every single beat you're going to end up with a really weird kind of uh, flappy jaw type thing it's going to look really weird so the main beats you just want to get in at this point it's still very rough this this might be retimed okay so next i'm going to start adding the oohs and the e's so for this rig it's it's actually really nicely laid out this ui you've got these larger controls here and the smaller ones so the larger ones are your main ones and then say these are just for kind of offsetting and just doing fine tweaking so what i generally like to do is is just to concentrate on the the in and the out of the mouth first of all so ease and ooze okay so let's let's start running through this okay so now so i would imagine that starts in a, on a slight e shape uh, and then going into a oo shape uh, on the i it's going to come out slightly start will be a little bit in I'd say for start maybe somewhere about there for the t the little t I'm just going to bring it in very slightly just for that For little, I'm just going to bring in a little bit more. For a head, that's going to be outwards. Okay, so let's play that and see how that feels. Now I start to get a little ahead. Okay, so the next control I'm going to concentrate on is this one here, and this basically makes him sneer. And I'm also going to combine that a bit with uh, these two controls here, which also control the nose. So all this stuff is going to be connected, I reckon. So like when you raise your top lip, you usually sneer as well. So I'm going to do these two controls at the same time. Okay, so his initial pose is going to be quite angry. So let's bring this up. And for the first frame as well. Okay, so on the now, I'm just going to add a bit. Now, when you go into an ooh shape, if you kind of do it now, it's kind of hard to sneer while you have an ooh shape on. So at that point, I'm going to follow what the lip is doing, just bring it down. Okay, so the next controls we're going to do are these ones here, which control the kind of uh, cheek area. So again, we want to make sure the face feels nice and connected throughout. So, on the ooze, we want to stretch down, okay, because the skin's going to be stretched towards the, the mouth there. Okay, so at this point, where it's kind of really, his lips up, so the mass is going to be travelling upwards, so I'm just going to bring it up. Okay, here he kind of raises his eyebrows, so at this point we're also going to raise up the cheeks as well and then back to settle okay so we're, we're working away from the mouth sort of up the face uh, so it's, it's a case of everything is connected on the face we, we don't want to do something that is contradictory to what the jaw is doing so so if you've got an extreme like this all this mass needs to come down if you've got an extreme where he's really sort of crumpled up you know, so we want to go this way with it instead. So I'm quite happy with the uh, cheeks now. So what we're going to do now is there's this lovely control in the middle. You click this one here and it basically allows you to move the mouth around a little bit for a bit of offsetting. So what I'm going to start to do is just to start offsetting stuff here and there just to just add a bit more character. Okay, so you'll see already. Now I start to get a little ahead. Now that it uh, starts to look a little bit less robotic. Right, so the next thing I want to do is to add a bit of tongue movement throughout, especially for this bit here. Little ahead, that's kind of missing the tongue. Um, so, okay, 
Okay, so for this bit, little ahead. Just gonna bring it up. Now I start to get a little ahead. So last thing before we bring this video to an end, I'd like to just have a look at his eyes. Um, I've not really done much work on his eyelids, so I'm just going to do a pass on them. So you've got to remember this has translation, also has rotation, so you're able to, to angle slightly. Okay, so I think I'm just going to bring these up a little bit here. Be nice to go wired here. Just a little bit crazy. Okay, and I'm just going to do exactly the same for the top as well. Okay, and I apologize for the poor frame rate in this. Um, not sure why this rig is particularly heavy uh, the frame rate was okay to start with but the more the more controls I seem to animate the worse it gets I will be upgrading to Maya 2019 which has a new playback feature which I'm hoping will improve frame rate for the next video okay so I will just play this quickly now I start to get a little ahead okay so it's not a bad first pass I'll put a play blast at the end so you can see exactly what's going on and I hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching now I start to get a little ahead now I start to get a little ahead